Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dawn. And I'm John and together we're the two running grooms. Tuesday, Dawn left work, not feeling very well. We both did a few miles on the treadmill, me testing out a couple of pairs of shoes for a shoe off I was going to do later in the week. So we're down here, ready to do this shoe off session. What I'm going to do is a mile warm up and then I'm going to do six times one mile with two minutes recovery. And we're off on rep one. So each mile was just under three times around the field. After each mile, I switched shoes to test the different heart rates that I would get with each mile repeat. I allowed two minutes for this change of shoes. I managed to come to a very definite conclusion as to what would be my shoe for the marathon. And if you're not done so already, please check out a separate video where I reveal which shoe I'll be running the Shakespeare Marathon in. So it's Thursday lunchtime. I've got 20 minutes or so between meetings. Rather than sit in the car, it's always better to get out and have a little leg stretch. And I must admit, being a little bit of a twinge in the left hamstring, maybe as a result of that shoe test yesterday. But we'll see how the rest of the week goes. So just finishing off a run of just over two miles, so just to stretch the legs. Friday morning, I did a three mile run around some playing fields. This was the playing fields that John had done his shoe off on. This was my first run in two days, as unfortunately I picked up another cold virus this week. The footage of this uh, video was taken by our new toy, our drone. It was a little bit breezy, so we were a little bit scared to put it up too high. But as time goes on, I'm sure we're going to get some fantastic footage of runs that we're going to do in the future. So this morning we're at Chesterfield and why are we here John? We're here because it's Saturday morning but we're not aiming to do a park run, we're, well I am hoping to do the No Walk in the Park 5k organised by the North Derbyshire Running Club. Now it's one we've been targeting for a while and fortunately Dawn's been not well this week so she really doesn't think it's worth uh, knocking out a 5k race. I was feeling really strong about a week and a half ago um, but I've had this hamstring niggle but it's going to roll the dice today and you know what if I don't finish so what we're in a nice place in a race around runners and we'll just enjoy watching and taking part by filming. One of the things I love is going to new places and running in different places it's like you know, all week you so run your local routes uh, and especially at this time of year with the dark nights, dark mornings. So at the weekend, it's lovely to just get out, find somewhere different to run. It does really motivate. So we're on a little warm up for John. Unfortunately, I think his hamstring is not gonna play. If I tried running hard on this, <coughs> I risk seriously damaging myself. So we've turned up here to have a race. The race is called no walk in the park. John's is called No Race in the Park. <laughs> Not the No Walk in the Park, but a nice visit to the park. Yeah. So we're just going to have a, a gentle trot around and enjoy just having an easy run, as I said, in a different place. And we think uh, one of the ladies that we uh, train with on a Friday may be here today. So we can watch her and cheer her on. So that's my mile done. I think that's enough for me today. I can really feel soreness in this hamstring. So, you know, one step back, two steps forward, hopefully. Now, as Dawn said, one of the things we really enjoy about running is running in different places. If you follow this channel for a while, you know, we like to do park runs all around the country, races in different counties. And here today in Chesterfield, we are at what has been called one of the prettiest cricket grounds in the country. Behind me, the Queen's Park um, ground. Derbyshire County Cricket Club play here on a regular basis. Not as regular as they used to, sadly, because of changes in cricket. But if I can just detain you a minute with one of my extensive fun facts, there have been over 60,000 first-class cricket matches played in the last 200 years or more. 60,000 matches. 
And if any of you know the game of cricket, there are 11 players in each team. So number 11 uh, batter is usually the weakest one in the team. Not always, but anyway, of all those 60,000 matches, the highest score ever made by somebody coming in last out to bat was on this ground in 1947. A man called Peter Smith, who was playing for Essex against Derbyshire, scored 163. Now, it just so happens I'm writing a short biography of that Mr. Peter Smith, the Essex and England all-rounder. Pretty really colourful character, so it's just nice to come and know that 70 odd years ago, something happened here which was quite remarkable in cricket history. So, love running, love places, love being around this great country of ours. We also have quite a nice um, track around the edge of this cricket pitch. It looks to be about 400 metres, so ideal for the local running club North Derbyshire. I guess they use this for some of their sessions as well as putting on this race. And here's our friend Rachel doing a strides like a good one. Well done, Ev. So we have a new toy. It's called a drone. <laughs> there we go. Well, we are going to take some aerial shots in this beautiful park <laughs> as the race is going on. <laughs> Despite neither of us being able to run on the day, we stayed to watch the race. It's a fantastic little event organised by the North Derbyshire Running Club. It's £5 to enter, you can enter on the morning, and they generally get between about 40 and 60 runners on this four loop long course around the picturesque Queen's Park in Chesterfield. What we were really pleased to see was one of our regular runners who takes part in our Friday sessions, Rachel, achieve a fantastic new PB of well over a minute, running a 5k in 20 minutes and 36 seconds so if any of you would like to find out more about what the two running brooms can bring you as qualified england athletics coaches please click on the link in the description below So Don, tell us about today's session. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing three times three miles at Marathon Effort, which should be at the moment between 7.30 pace and eight minute miling, because we're only like four or five weeks into training. Um, it's on a out and back course uh, with a slight gradient going out. So I expect to be a little bit slower going out than coming back. And uh, in between those three miles, I shall have a three minute jog recovery. Cherry flavour, isotonic gel. Uh, session set up on my watch, it says marathon uh, session. So I should be using this to uh, pace my run this morning. I was set one. That's all right. Paces? All within the range that I should be doing. Again, number two. See, so I had an extra gel between sets one and two. 
yeah, I brought an extra one just in case. And I thought in the marathon, I would be taking them every so sort of four miles. And I thought because I'm not really, you know, prepared like you would be for a marathon, taking the extra gel would actually be beneficial with legs. Although they should be, be feeling fresh, don't feel quite as good as I thought they would do. But hopefully this will uh, help on this rep. And then just the one to go with the caffeine gel. Set two done? Yeah. Numbers? We're in the right range again. Just good. like to have a caffeine gel for the third one. So session complete, how did that go? Yeah, so the, the session went well. Um, the paces were all in the range that I said I was going to run, which was between 7.30 and uh, 8 minute mile in. I think uh, going up there about 7.50ish and then coming down in the uh, 7.30s. So I'll have a look at that when I get home properly. Do you think you managed to keep all three reps consistent? Yeah, I think they were consistent. I think what, what was happening is uh, it's, it, the legs were fine, it's just like losing concentration um, and it, it's really easy to lose concentration because I'm, I've got into the habit of running at marathon effort. Maybe we've done it in races, it's hard to do it in the trail on your own. Yeah, that's the other factor when you're on your own and there's quite a few people as well, sort of the further up the trail you've got, there's quite a lot of families walking, which is lovely, but it's kind of when you're trying to concentrate and you have to weave in and out of children's bikes, um, that was a little bit... Uh, so difficult at times but no good session I quite enjoyed it weather today is beautiful very low wind a uh, bit of sunshine which is nice so we hope you've enjoyed week six in our marathon build-up it's been a bit of an up and down week I was running quite well until about Wednesday did that nice session but I've had to scale it back the last few days due to a hamstring niggle and you Dawn yeah, so I started off not so good because I ended up with the lurky, but I finished the week on a positive note and I'm ready to roll into next week fit and healthy. So you put our two weeks together, you'd have a good training <laughs> week there. But yeah, we remain ever optimistic that we can keep rolling out some good training weeks in the build-up to our marathons. If you like this video, please give it a like on YouTube. If you are new to the channel or you've been here before and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free to you and it means you'll get regular updates whenever we post our new training and parkrun content. <laughs> So until next week, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.